In all cases of erosion, the forms that are created, the forms that add such beauty and variety to the land, are paradoxically created through destruction, the destruction of rock. This destruction takes two quite distinctive forms, physical and chemical. The two can create quite different forms upon the land. The most rapid and obvious physical weathering is affected by ice, water, seeping into the cracks and fissures of a rock surface expands when it freezes and gradually fragments the rock. The other forms of physical weathering are, by and large, all variations on a theme of persistent abrasion. The sea strikes repeatedly at a coastline over millions of years. A river eats away at the bedrock beneath it. And when the water is gone, in the dryness of the desert left behind, the wind dashes fine particles of sand against rock, wearing it minutely but persistently. Persistence is the key. Persistence and time. Time is important too, to another form of weathering, chemical. The corrosive solution that is formed when water combines with certain minerals does the same work as that of persistent abrasion. Rain combines with carbon dioxide as it falls through the atmosphere to form a weak acid. In sufficient quantity, this acidic solution will dissolve rock. Limestone is particularly susceptible. These natural caves have been formed through chemical attack. Some of this dissolved limestone is redeposited to build up the stalactites and stalagmites found on the roofs and floors of caves. The processes of physical and chemical weathering are working on every exposed surface of every continent, every day. They have altered the shape of the land a little at a time. But the process will pass largely unobserved. For though it is working for every moment of every day in all the years of our lives, the days of the land will seem uneventful. Its forms unchanged in a lifetime or two or three lifetimes. A human identity carved in granite might endure the force of weathering for three or four hundred years. A mountain endures for tens of millions of years. In the end, the force that works unseen through each uneventful day will sooner or later end the dynasty of both names and mountains.